What's up YouTube? I'm Maverick Green, and today we are going to talk about what could possibly be one of the best decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! When you first look at this deck, you notice that there are not that many trap cards in here. And yes, that can be bad, but can also help you due to the other cards that are in here, and the fact that you don't need the other trap cards, for the most part. The first guy we're starting off with is Destiny Hero Dogma. He's best, he's good for this deck because he, he's level 8 and that means you can use trade in here to draw two cards. Or if you really need his power, if you have a Destiny Hero on the field and two other guys, toss them and get Dogma onto the field to do a lot of damage to them and half their life points too in the process. Next is Destiny Hero Plasma where with him he has more uses in Dogma with his effect where you can actually just summon him by using the scapegoat tokens here which is why they're there for it and his effect you get to equip one of their mo your opponent's monsters and do plenty with that because you get half their attack points and all their other monsters on the field effects are negated. Next up is the most Im one of the two most important cards in the main deck here. Destiny Hero Malicious. He's useful because you need him to get your two best cards on the field which is Belzy of the Diabolic Dragons, if I said that right, and Scrap Dragon. When you use him with Plague Spreader here, it'll end up getting those two on the field. I'll talk about what you use them for when they come up. Next you have Dark Griffer. When you have him, he's good for low defense if you need him, but you can also end up getting malicious out of your hand and into the graveyard so you can use your two other maliciouses maliciouses or malicious on the field or in the deck and use them with plague spreader to get your synchros or you can use him to synchro to get whatever level six you synchro you can find that's good for you Next up is Diamond Dude. There's not that many f uses for him, but he has somewhat good defense and he can be used for defense or his effect will help you draw with if you can get Destiny Draw because you don't have to use the effect where it says discard a Destiny Hero card. You just get to draw two cards no matter what. And then next is the other important part of this deck, Plague Spreader Zombie. You use him so that way you can synchro everyone else, basically. Without him, you have no deck. That's useful. And you can get him on the field more than once with one card. Next up is Polymization. You don't need it, but good because you could get Destiny and Dragoon on the field or you can use it as a discard card for the ones that need it. Replacement of the Army is good for when you need Diamond Dude or Dark Griffer for any reason. Only one in there because you don't need that there's not that many level 4's in this deck so you don't really need them. Next up is Trade In and it's their best for when you have low hand and all you really have is trade in and uh, dogma or plasma you just use this to draw two more cards this helps you go and draw into two more cards again with destiny draw you need more cards too so it helps Feather of the Phoenix is good because 
you can get some cards from your grave yard and put them on top of your deck which is great if you have a malicious in your deck and you or a graveyard and you know you really need him and you can find a way to get him back into the deck so you can start the cycle over again next up is foolish burial it's useful when you need to get either plat either plague spreader or malicious into the graveyard and there's no other way you can really do it you just use this to get one of them in the graveyard and you can get things started with that next up is the warrior returning alive that's useful because you can use that for dark griffer malicious or Des uh, destiny hero diamond dude even though best to use that for malicious three mystic space typhoons are important because you since you don't have traps your best bet in destroying spells and traps are mst's next is scapegoat and they're important for defense and all that kind of stuff and they can be used with plasma's effect and yes it says cannot be used for tribute summon but it's not a tribute summon it's a special summon so therefore you can use them in the summoning of plasma next up you have royal decree this is the reason why you don't need any trap cards in this deck whatsoever with this you negate all other traps and it just keeps it down to monsters and spells also it's great if, to use it as a little trick if you have another card in the backfield and there's and you need to keep that safe just put roll decree and if they're rely heavily on their traps they will go and attack roll decree instead leaving your good card safe next up is solemn warning because you do need some one trap this is probably the most important trap out of any of them in my opinion because when an effect monsters when a monster would be summoned or when a spell card trap card or effect monsters effect is activated that includes an effect that special summons a monster pay 2000 life points negate the summon or activation and destroy that card and that's why it's useful next up I saved Grand Mole here for last because he's not really needed but I like to put him in my text because you never know when you get a card on the field that you have to deal with and there's nothing you can really do because it says can't be destroyed by battle and this card's good because this can take it off the field and back into their hand or extra deck and it does not target them so therefore you can still send them out if they have an effect that says they can't be targeted next up is the extra deck destiny and dragoon here is one that's useful because if you have uh, it on the field and you go and use his effect you can destroy the target and inflict damage equal to the opponent's attack then uh, if he gets destroyed during your standby phase this if this card's in your graveyard you can banish one destiny hero card from your graveyard to special summon this card if this card's if they negate the activation of that effect on your standby phase it's still your standby phase so you can still summon destiny and dragoon even if they went and negated it the first time on the same standby phase next is belzy he's one of two important car most important cards in this extra deck. He's in here because 
He can't be destroyed by battle or card effects, and when you take damage from an attack involving this card or from an opponent's card's effect, this card gains attack equal to the damage you took. So it's useful because of its strength and the fact that it can't be destroyed. Next is Scrap Dragon, and he's useful because when you get him on the field, his effect, if you have Belzy on the field, you can target Belzy, and since Belzy's effect doesn't let him get destroyed, you won't lose anything on your side of the field, and then you can choose something on your opponent's side of the field and destroy them instead, without losing your people. Next up is Stardust Dragon. There's not really any reason for him, except his effects okay and his attacks decent next is gravity warrior because he's the probably the best level six synchronous that there actually is right now that i know of and if you need the level six synchro you can use him and then you got those two uh xz monsters and they're pretty useful because they can help you out in a tough spot or inflict damage that you need to win the battle. Next in your side deck, you might be wondering why Zombie World would be in there. If you're facing a deck like Noble Knights, it this card will be really good against them because their cards are no longer warriors but your cards will also not be what they previously were so best to use this card when you have everything else in motion same with necro valley except it keeps the cards in the graveyard and not banished Next is Bottomless Trap Hole, because it, its effects are good, but since you have a World Decree, you can't really use it unless you get rid of World Decree. Then Torments with Tribute, because you can possibly destroy a lot of their monsters if that helps. And then this card's pretty useful because you can do a bunch with it and get lucky in the process. Next up is Soul Drain, and it's pretty useful because because of its effect where you activate by paying a thousand life points, monsters are that are banished as well as monsters in the graveyard can activate their effects that start to chain. It's good because if you're facing ones like Noble Knights, then you can stop them, but you have to make sure again you have everything of yours in motion before you activate any of those. And that's it for today with the Destiny Hero deck, if that's what you want to call it. If you have comments or things that could improve this deck, leave a comment below and I'll answer it. And that's all. Drop a like and subscribe. And peace out.